Hey guys, it's Joel Baker. I'm back here with Steve Landers, Chrysler Dodge Jeep in West Little Rock. Uh, today we're going to do a new video, uh, just going over some basic, you know, new Jeeper information that there's some of the main questions we get asked here a lot. One of the biggest ones we get asked uh, when people come out, you know, they see a Jeep, they like it, they're like, man, I want to get into the Jeep lifestyle, um, but I don't know which one's right for me. So the first thing is there's three different Jeep Wranglers that are out there right now, basically. There's a Sport, which is kind of your entry-level package. Um, I say that, but you can get it equipped however you want to, but it's just kind of the, the, the starter package on it. Uh, the Sahara is a step up from that just a little bit, um, but as far as it's all, you know, creature comforts. It's like getting painted tops that actually match the vehicle. It's getting fender flares that are painted to match the vehicle. Uh, leather trim, you know, a little bit nicer stereo, that kind of thing is just what's on a Sahara and what makes it different than the Sport. Now you can get a Sport with leather and you can get one with painted fenders and all that, but the Saharas typically come that way. Uh, and then finally the other version is the Rubicon. Rubicon you can get equipped from a base model, you know, with, with no power windows or anything like that, all the way up to leather and painted everything to match and get it nice as well. The big difference about a Rubicon versus the other two is it's got locking differentials and it's got an electronic sway bar disconnect. They're all very, very capable rigs just the way they are from the factory. They'll do more than what you probably are wanting to do in it first time out. Uh, they're all four wheel drive um, and you can get them either in automatic or standard. Come see us at Steve Landers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram above the Rave Theater only in Little Rock.